it up. kind of cool it kind of plays a cool trick on the tone to slap a little bit more. So how do we do that? Get the kilohertz trend. It's a slappy compressor I can use. Oh. Already that's kind of cool I find. Go too crazy on this, I think. With and without the tape. Dresser. <clears throat> I know the FG bomber can be cool on this. Be too much sustain, we'll see. has like the right tone for this type of guitar. Now I dig what the what the tape's doing. I wasn't too sure about it earlier, but now I think I think it's gonna go check out this uh... Hmm. 
take it back to this a bit, I find hmm, it's a little bit too, uh, too nice. It could almost be distant, some sort of like distant speaker calling. Let's check out the speaker tone audio thing. Speaker. Huh. <laughs> see if he's down with that because that's a pretty solid uh, aesthetic choice so you know might not be where we want to go where he wants to go so we, we got to try things and then we'll see <laughs> as well repeater and space echo we'll see sort of changing my direction here yeah fuck, let's open the edit window this thing's practical i like this about cubase the edit window the pro i'm not sure the pro tools has i don't remember <laughs> on it.
left to right and chop some of the information from uh, the, the left channel. So let's go left. Stuff here. Freeze the accordion because I'm not getting enough uh, CPU to, uh, to do that. Place my uh, my gelal. <laughs> yep. Clean out that one whistling frequency that's bugging me. Play. Oh. A few other things we could do is give it a bit more pop. Transient from kilohertz, my favorite. It's a bit too much like uh, low mid stuff. I think around like five, six hundred. Clean that out a bit with a super transparent EQ. Still getting Yeah, we can try the tape, vintage tape on it. We got that. I'm always like trying to read the plug in here, make sure, so I don't need to search it, but. Hmm, sort of like it without. with it. Um. Okay, let's freeze this for now. I want to like, give it more angry, angry. Don't like the devil lock. Thinking of a parallel comp, and then I thought of that. Before the VR, or after. It's kind of cool after, because then it just trashed the whole verb with it. trick so the VR has its own reverb built in I can turn it off but it's always like kind of cool which is against my principles to have verbs on the tracks but whatever it, it always sort of works but then driving the signal after the dear VR drives the, the reverb as well and it just, just makes it pump and compress and come out that's kind of cool <laughs> Okay, 
So we'll freeze the Gilal for now. Soon it'll be time to press play from the start and just start scanning it like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, flute. Oh yeah, probably can freeze the dead VUCA as well. I'm gonna put this on pause. Okay. did is they printed a room mic which I don't need but I can try to do some something cool with it so let's duplicate it let's just make a delay with it why not yeah it's there why not try some stuff yeah kill this so we're gonna do one two three four five six seven eight eighty millisecond delay and then we're gonna delay one an extra and then we're gonna pan them left and right let's see what's up Let's just try panning first before we do. Yeah, so fun thing with this, little like subliminal info we can add into the mix. Probably put these put these behind the ears so it's like just kind of fucks the listener a bit. Haha. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but we'll try it out. I like trying shit like that. Because when it works, then you got something, you're not exactly sure what's going on in the mix, but when you put on headphones or even on speakers, it just it comes out differently, you know? So. This uh, flute mic, I'm hearing too much room. So whoever tracked this should have tracked closer. Should have been closer to the mic. So I like, there's like some uh, interesting spots around the flute. I find, because then the room just breaks it up, man. It just makes it sound like mono roomy. I fucking hate I really don't like that. Yeah, okay, so vintage tape. Like anything else. Give it a bit more realness. So imager. Same old, same old. Just have like a setup where press render and the whole mix just does the same shit and then I can just finish off. Sonar works. Headphones. And my headphones. Plug them in. They're already in good. Yeah.
this one. Let's shoot this through some verb. <clears throat> you can also give it some some delay, a few different delays. You know, more stuff happening all around sort of makes it. Oops, yeah, wrong uh, channel, right? Back to this one. Off, oh, don't need this. Okay. and the headphones are a little bit too uh too close present boomy hmm. <laughs> so here yeah, i'm gonna need to play around with the placement so yeah let's just freeze this flute for now i think i'm kind of done with it for <clears throat> the for, for right now yeah, headphones are really practical to fine-tune all the VR stuff. I used to not do it in headphones because it was sort of dangerous because I can easily, um, I you know, you can make some, it sounds good in headphones, then you place it in the speakers in it and the sound's all fucked up. But I've, I've used it plenty now. I've used them, I've used the VR so much that I sort of get that it might, like what it's going to sound like in the speakers so I can be careful and, and or I can sort of hear it both ways while I'm listening to it in the headphones. Yeah, so okay. I'm going to clean out some I'll work on some dangerous frequencies here. Some people would argue that they don't want me to go so add some of this. So and then in cleanup. But I think that's what makes a good mix is to know where to clean and not how to over clean it. It is important for the finger snap. Sometimes when the tone's too loud, like that, the note's too loud, I like to push below it so we hear the pressure, but not just the note. So I... Bef 
feel like the puh and not the doom doom. So there, there's something, something interesting probably. Might be too uh, transparent of an EQ though to do that. Fuck. Christ, I'm trying to reset this and it won't reset. You double click it and then it gets back into its original position. Happening. Get a knee PQ. Try this, see if it can make it pop. Yeah. this point is bounce uh, take bounce a track with no drums and then go back to my drum um, session and then mix the toms I didn't mix just keep building up the drum mix import some reverbs and then um, just do a second pass on the whole kit and then I'll be ready to print and send uh, first mix to uh, the artist and the video guy my, my, my video buddy to, uh, just to work with. Uh, let's print this other one. So, all right. So I'll do that right now. <laughs> 